Come on. <laughs> Wait till I get back in shape. Oh boy. <laughs> Bust your ass. That's what's going to happen. I don't care what you say. Your mama like this dick. What? Look at this boy no. right here with this zigzag on your ass, motherfucker. That's right. Corey Holcomb, 5150 shorts on the House Nation side of the game. Cop you a pair at CoreyHolcomb.com. Go to the store. Look out. Boy, I got a cool out on that Chipotle. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and here we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her. Somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Uh. Yeah. Team's uh, looking all right. Live. Fuck all oh, y'all yeah, motherfucking talk shit about my motherfucking um shorts. fell off on the physique side of the game. Buffet shorts. Why the speakers bumping? That. God damn it, we about to MC in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah, fuck with y'all. <sighs> Went through my bitch phone, found out she was shit. Mm, mm, mm. Corey, I mean, so miss that one. What up, y'all? Skid mark shorts. Skid. <laughs> Somebody say, where's Zoe at? Right here, Nick. <laughs> no, bro. Them shorts, them shorts were on point. Hey, man, there's something different. Those shorts. We got fit, we got them shorts. Um, a lot of my house heads love them shorts because yeah. they were the drop crop, crotch, drop, uh-huh. the drop crotch clothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, you know, we came out with something different. I yeah. mean, go buy your Jordan shorts, my dude. But when you want to try something different, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You can wear them shorts with any of them sneakers you get. Yeah, that's what I'd be like. I mean, like, I got too many Nike shorts. Yeah. yeah. I need to switch it up. Something to wear with your 5150 shirt. Yeah, 5150 yeah. shirts. Yeah. I'm coming out with them drop cop, drop crop pants soon. Uh-oh. You bringing uh-oh. the hammer mans back? Yeah. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's called easy access gear. I don't know how we can avoid it. We got to jump right into this. Oh, yeah. You go ahead. All right. Oh, shit. Ugh. <sighs> What a weekend, huh? Shit. As we watch television, <laughs> oh. I watch these people in Charlottesville, North Carolina. God. Because yeah. I always watch what they call them, the names. Like, what they, they, you know. And they're very clever how they're wording who these people are. Mm-hmm. These people. people are the villagers. <laughs> but you don't hear them referred to as villagers you hear names like nazis and all like that no these are the people that live out there these are people in that town well there's a lot of people that flew in for it you know that right well they might have flew in but they were staying with them motherfucker Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i'm here to say you have to be a real piece of shit to lose your job at the hot dog stand okay they saw (laughs) they saw you on a video marching (laughs) About a statue of a bigot. That's fucking crazy. But nobody Who wants are that. you? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what are you? What are you about? You are the scum of the earth. And that showed them what they were about. If you were there doing that for that, ooh-wee. On a Saturday night. Mm. That's called fucking ain't my priority people. All them a, dudes. Statue. It's Saturday night for a statue of a general who wasn't wasn't shit. General right. Lee he was an asshole, right? Yeah, I'm saying 
if you want to march with torches on a Saturday night that's planned out by a scary motherfucker, did you see that one dude? <laughs> Which was him? They said planned it out, and he was running. Running, and that with the, but the press people were there. That was hilarious. It all makes sense. <laughs> what a fucking weak motherfucker. I know motherfuckers. If they leaders of something, they'll go down with it. By they ain't themselves. finna run. Rolling mobs. Some motherfucker walk up on them, they gonna knock the shit out of right, them. Right, right. This no. scary motherfucker. Mm-hmm. This scary motherfucker was running from regular folks who was just yelling at him. Just yelling and wanting answers, you know, wanting him to cop no, up his Nobody stuff. got stole on. Not just, yet. But he on, they only tough in big groups like that's what that. I'm saying, mobbed up. Yeah, that's not good. They got a mob up to be tough. Well, you know, you got and I want to talk about also, did you see how they were wording the dude who ran into the people with the car? What was the wording? Nothing I, harsh. You didn't hear thug. You didn't hear super predator. You didn't hear terrorist. Mm-hmm. No. You didn't hear none of that. Right. I watch how they speak on the news. I'm like, Wow. These well, motherfuckers want to make a right out of it. Yeah. Yeah. The man, the president just came out and basically went on a, a diatribe about how Both the left sides. is as bad as the right. And the, the bottom line is it's not presidential. You know, uh, you can't say the day before, let's all be together as one and American and love each other and respect each other. But then indirectly embolden and justify the actions of the very people you're afraid to call them what they are because which is because they support you even if they support you <laughs> huh. even if they support you you, yeah. you you're the president now so you can be just like most politicians are mm-hmm. most politicians lie to their constituents their core groups right no get in the hope. office and then go do what the fuck they want to do you're not beholden to those people you're the president for everybody. So you going to come out and embolden these people without calling them what they are? Mm. American terrorists, American homegrown terrorists, American racists, American white supremacists. You just not going to say it? Well, yeah. the, the fact that you, you have to pull his hand to say it because right. he was flat out asked that night, what do you think about these? Uh, 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 racist both not, sides. groups been, or whatever. And, both sides. Yeah. And <laughs> you can tell where his heart was. A lot of sides here. They're, yeah. You can tell where his heart was. Right. With what he says. Right. So what is there, what else is there to say about what's going on with the police? Right. He speak more evil and more harshness against Mexicans than he just did with that. Yeah. Period. Mm. He, he disrespected them. There's worse. nobody to police the police. Mm-mm. And they've been encouraged by what they saw, as was, I heard some of these um, Nazi groups on the internet, they said they were encouraged by what he said. Of course. Yeah, ever since um, day one. Yeah. And this is all said to let everybody know, if you are about morality, the war is, is, is in, it's been going on, and it's time to jump in. Yeah, right. and that's what that that young lady did. Her mom said that that's what she was all about. She didn't want those people down there marching. And she got killed. So well, I, who, well, who was the, was the young lady? Was it a Caucasian woman yeah. who got killed? Yeah. yeah, and her mom said she was always like that, even as a kid, always looking out for others, just wanted equality for everybody. Well, the mother even thanked Trump for his comfort. Ooh. So she chose whiteness over the death of her daughter. Wow. She was like, I thank the president for, you know, comforting us but they're in buttfuckville that's her version so this is like fame my daughter was the one to die right you know what i'm saying Uh, it's like it's fucked up the mentality of this country mm -hmm. but i would say this the war that's that's happening right now is a white civil war you you got the you got the left that's interesting the left Right, and then you got the right. The left, these motherfuckers are guilty, so they always want to do something for the disenfranchised. So, so they're givers from a distance. Meaning, I'm not going to give up my white privilege 
which puts me in a position to be able to go feed the homeless and give shoes to the neighborhood and do all. I'm not going to give up the privilege I got, but I'm guilty, so I'm going to try to do shit to help. They are the liberals. Then you got these, the right, the alt-right. These are the motherfuckers like Ted Nugent. Kid Rock. Kid Rock. All of these motherfuckers who Mm -hmm. are outside learning how to shoot bow and arrows. Scott Bale. And and motherfucking, (laughs) you know, uh, stocking up, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, waiting for the war. And now they're going at each other because these motherfuckers... You know, they mad at Trump because of Trump didn't do what he said he was going to do. But now Trump is in a position where he looks like he's backing the alt-right. Because when you don't say directly what it is, like, this is wrong, y'all niggas wrong, I'm coming after y'all. If you don't do that... Cut that shit out of we coming out. Right. You, can't, you can't come back and then go, well, you know the other side is wrong, too. Mm-hmm. What? Trump said (laughs) everything you need to know about who he is as he was campaigning because he couldn't hide his flaws. Did did you see what he did? He'd rather promote his his vineyard. Did you see how he brought that up in the same thing? You see what's going on. And you got the nerve to promote your wine vineyard in Charlottesville. Oh, I got, you know, I got. What What are you doing? He made racism and hatred fashionable again yeah that's the key. that's what he did he put it on front street he ran on it hmm. now you got to stand on it because you, you ran got, on it and you got people like omarosa who are over there crying talking about oh my i think omarosa friends, killed michael my clark duncan friends have disowned me because i'm i was with trump i'm working for him that's what she's claiming now and you keep saying you think she did what i think omarosa killed mark michael clark duncan oh my god i can't prove that i don't know that but he looked like a healthy dude got up under that bitch and died and we see how evil this bitch is mm. well she's paying for it i man. see you bitch you your head be in the motherfucking air but you live out here i see you mm. walking around looking like something wrong with you well, That's got, an remember, evil Now bitch. she got married, though, to that guy. Isn't she got a, a new fool. Isn't he a preacher or something like new that? New fool. Oof. New hustling ass motherfucker. What, what motherfucker go marry a bitch like that? I, I want to see the nigga. Preacher. Where he at? We he a preacher? Remember, we put the pictures up. Well, where the preacher at? Well, who, where, where he hustle at? I talked about it. I put it up on the thing. Y'all don't know the church? Is it out here in L.A.? It's an L.A. Up church? North. Yeah, I think so. No, it's up north. It's up north. Hold on. No, 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 no. Because the another. bitch moved out of L.A.? It's in another state. Oh, I she gotta go with that money. At go get that money, evil hoe. We, we spoke Did about not it. start this <laughs> war. <laughs> it was an ape named Koba. Koba <laughs> drew down on the pussy, motherfuckers. <laughs> Koba's out here wilding, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, man, but this whole thing about this fucking. Let me tell you something, man. Y'all motherfuckers can duck it. As long as you fucking think you can. A lot of you motherfuckers just get up every day, go to work, and come home. So you duck it. You get, But it's luck you ducking it. I'm talking about all of the people who hands, I mean, who head is up their ass, who act like this ain't happening. Mm-hmm. It's coming to your dough. It's coming to your dough. Because them racist ass cops, when they pull you over, they fucking with you. They laying on you in the tree in the street trying to smother you. It just ain't happened to you. Or maybe somebody who you are, who you consider the loved one that you're close with. But it's coming. This is what they do. So you can keep trying to act like, oh, people blowing shit out of proportion. And I bring this up to talk about them coon ass NFL motherfuckers. Oh man, I had some stuff on that. Mr. Harrison. The coach of the Browns, who about to get fired anyway because you ain't shit. He a L.A. boy. Mm-hmm. He from out here. I can't even think his name. Mm. That motherfucker said he don't want his players protesting. <sighs> motherfucker, you can't even win. How the fuck is somebody going to listen to you? You the token coach. You got your job because they needed to be like, you know we got to hire a nigga one time. I mean, Jesus. Let's diversity. get it out the way while we down. Right. Why the squad ain't good. We don't want him leading our team to the Super Bowl. Right. The lack of diversity in the NFL. I mean, there's not enough. Hugh Jackson, is that his name? Yeah, that's his name. Fucking 
sucker ass motherfucker trying to intimidate the players with words talking about he don't want his player. Here's any, the problem. If when you got any man on your team, they gonna look you in your eye and say, You ain't shit. You ain't shit. You let me tell you something. You really don't even have no power around here. You one of us. Right. You might well put on a jersey and try to still run, you wobbly motherfucker. <laughs> here I think here's the problem with the whole black people and black uh We're bring that up. black people in, in position of power supporting the American narrative. My owner ain't bad. Right. If you believe in the American dream more than the white people, it's almost like the white people in power are like laughing like, oh, he bought the script. He bought it. He believes in the shit more than we do. This is just the narrative we have in place to keep motherfuckers docile. Mm -hmm. But you got black men out there Instead of facing, like for instance, Colin Kaepernick. Okay, I'm a, I'm, I'm a kneel because of police brutality, because of uh, injustice. economic right, right, injustice right, right. And, 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 and inequity. I'm going a, I'm to a, you know, take this moment to protest. And I'm going to use my stage, my stature, and the NFL as a means to get it out there. Oh, I can't believe this nigga is disrespecting the flag. What? What? Hey, <laughs> no black people should say anything. No NFL coaches, no no players. Either you're going to ride with Colin or be quiet. Stay in your lane. Don't ever come out and go, uh-uh, you shouldn't do that. No, they have to gain favor so they can become a house. Do you know what the house nigga is? He's the nigga who was privileged to have on a suit in the house. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Go on in the back and get that jacket. Thank you for telling on this nigga for running right. away. Go get that jacket. One, God, <laughs> you got to serve the suit. Now you ain't got to go out there and pick the motherfucking colonels up to get the shit. Damn. That's they dream to be the house. In the house. They want to be in the house. Like when you saw Ray Lewis take a picture with his owner, like he was all proud and happy. Ray Lewis wants to be in the house. Now, just the only one of them guys who says some dumb shit that I, I just always say this. I look past, not look past, but I don't look at it the same is Michael Vick. I think Michael Vick is not intelligent. And that's why he said what he said, because he said he got he a needs lobotomy. A, he needs an image he needed, change. He needed I was a like, haircut. he needed a, he needed a haircut, right? Yeah. I was what, like, what did he really mean? It come from the heart. You don't think he? So you're trying to say he didn't? You don't think he really felt? Listen, that. I didn't say In nothing order, about what he felt. I I said what he said seemed ignorant like he didn't even know what to say but he was in front of them so he felt he had to say something but like you got you get a guy like 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 um uh, uh hugh jackson this cool motherfucker i don't want my guys protesting woo 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 that's different he said this guy needs an image change when actually he has a perfect image colin kaepernick colin right. kaepernick's image but he was referring Ain't nothing to wrong with his image. Right. They're, they're likening Colin Kaepernick. Right. Like, how dare you? You were the one what? that was You brought braids right. into yeah. the NFL. Right. What? what? You cut your hair because you had a court date, nigga. Oh, shit. So, Do you remember what he had on that suit yeah. at the court date? Yeah. You right changed up. your image because you needed it. Colin Kaepernick ain't did nothing to change his image. I mean, don't need nothing done to change it. I can't think of nothing he did. Even when he spoke on what he was doing. He even spoke if, in a way where you could tell this brother got some intelligence. And if we're talking about image, right now, today, Colin Kaepernick's image is in a better place than Michael Vick. Michael Vick is still dogged because of the dogs. No matter where he goes, they always bring it up. No matter... What happens if he so – people ain't even giving him coaching gigs because there are people protesting his ass being on the coaching staff because of the dogs. But that ain't why. But wait, if you look at – I think he dumb, and they know he dumb. But if you look at Colin – like, this is a dumb motherfucker. Colin is being likened to Ali. Mm. So if we just want to talk legendary about Legendary status. Legendary status. Mm. A trendsetter. I was going to speak on another one that just happened this weekend, speaking of this, but I don't know if I should lead into it or just talk about it. 
Because what was it? You want to talk about it now? Yeah, we don't have to introduce no loose talk. Anyway, th- I don't know if you guys caught Yeah, let's introduce it. Oh, we'll we go ahead. We love introducing. Uh, we'll go ahead. Okay, well, well <laughs> we're going to stop our regularly scheduled program <laughs> to <laughs> step backwards into the darkness and <laughs> allow Dee to present her loose, loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. Well, thank you. No, because I thought it was perfect timing. I'm sorry to segue, <laughs> segue into this particular topic because it was the same thing. Anyway, um, over the weekend, uh, speaking of this, same thing, same topic, uh, Tim Brown. Former NFL wide receiver. He didn't hold back on what he thought about Marshawn Lynch sitting down during the national anthem at the Oakland Raiders' first preseason game last night against the Arizona Cardinals. I gave you that picture. Um, Okay, good. Um, Anyway, uh, Brown was on TMZ Sports Live, and they asked him before he got off the air what he thought of that. And he said... Ah, oh, why, man? Why bring this on yourself? He has the perfect thing going on in Oakland. And he continued, why bring negativity to this incredibly positive situation? I just don't get it. I, and then he says, I just don't get it. But then he follows with, I understand these guys. Man, they're just trying to make statements and they're trying to be a part of this world. But football is where people go to get away from that stuff. And he, oh, be- so he, admitted he that believes, a- yes, and he believes that all that politi- political and social stuff needs to stay out of the workplace. He said that he believes that the Raiders head honchos would support Marshawn's causes any way they could, but outside of the stadium. Then Tim Brown shouldn't look up to Ali. You shouldn't look up to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You shouldn't look up to Jim Brown because these are all men who used their platform, heavyweight champion of the world, the NFL, they all used their platform to speak out on injustice. Now, see, Tim Brown is the perfect example of what's wrong with black masculinity. Mm. The only way to be a real man in America, and I'm talking about a real black man in America, you've got to conform. You've got to capitulate. You've got to bend the knee as uh, 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 what's the uh, what's the TV show? The great Game of Thrones. You got to bend the knee to this establishment in order for them to say, oh, this is a safe nigga. This is a nigga we, we can, can give a job yes. to. This is a nigga we can trust with our things. Mm. And that's unfortunate because you can't get on Marshawn Lynch and then turn around and big up Ali. See, Ali got bigged up after he was unable to talk. He couldn't talk no more. That's when he became America's lovable Ali. Oh, we love him. But when he could talk, Mm. he was dangerous. And the same thing happened to Mandela. Everybody, all the black bourgeoisie want to run to Mandela when Mandela changes his philosophy. But when Mandela is burning down government buildings, not killing people, but burning down government buildings. Oh, he's radical. We shouldn't be a part of him. We shouldn't rock with him. But the moment he got docile. The moment he capitulated to the powers that be, Mm -hmm. oh, Oprah want to be over there. Everybody want to be up under Mandela. Listen, at some point, black man, Mm -hmm. you're going to have to find your nuts and it may cost you your wallet. Mm. It's really that simple. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying uh, last week when you weren't here because my good brother Chico Bean, very talented Chico man, great job last week. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, but Chico you. was coming with the side like, but they risking a whole bunch of stuff. And I said, it takes courage. Yeah. You can't get out of this situation we in without courage. Tim Brown saying, don't bring that to the job. Come on, well, man. where else are you supposed to bring it? In front of your TV at home? Nobody would listen to you. you yell at the TV? What you going to stand out in front of your right. home? Right. right. Motherfucker, <laughs> for people to be doing this at their jobs, especially a NFL, NBA game, mm-hmm. it must be pretty fucking bad it out here. It must be right. serious, right? So, Tim Brown, why don't you do all of the folks who are out for justice a favor and shut the fuck up? Just be quiet. <laughs> Just be quiet. Shut the fuck up. Spend your last little cheese on that pussy that you sitting next to. The, the pussy that's going to bring you this clip. The little bitch. Tim, let me show you what this nigga said about. Yeah, that bitch. 
Spend your money on that and shut the fuck up. Because you ain't talking about shit. And everybody who listening to you, they stomach hurt. Oh, motherfucker turn around and say the same shit about me. I don't believe that, motherfucker. I'm on the internet. <laughs> right. God damn it. I ain't on TMZ right. saying that shit. Mm-hmm. God damn it. The and reason TMZ put you on there because they know you a cheese-eating, pussy-buying, buck-teeth <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> And now run, saying, nigga. Where you gonna run now? You too old to run in the NFL, so you useless now. What you gonna do? Uh, run uh, by pussy. Shut <laughs> the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. up. My thing is, just if if you disagree, disagree in private. We're we're already seen globally as a self hating, disaggregate people. Mm-hmm. So for you to come out in defense. Of the NFL in defense of anything other than Colin Kaepernick shows more division amongst our people. Mm -hmm. You coming out in defense or talking about, well, Colin could have did it different. Colin could have said that. Colin, fuck different. All that is exactly what Donald Trump just did when he came out and said, hey, what about the other side? That's what black people look like. The motherfucker with the car who ran into the crowd could have did something different. Everybody can do something different. I could talk like a bitch, so you will listen to me. Well, listen, guys, what we have to do is try and get it together as a people and unite. I could talk like that, but that ain't what it really is. What it really is 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 some dirty, rotten motherfuckers in this world who run this country. Who run this country. Them motherfuckers need to be publicly hang in front of everybody so people can see we're getting ready to start some new shit. These motherfuckers who ran this shit like this, where so many people are fucking in the gutter, Mm -hmm. Mm. even the dumb motherfuckers that vote for you because they think they supposed to, who about to lose their health care. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You even helping them dumb motherfuckers. Right. I mean- The bitches who vote for Trump, I just, I I, I (laughs) always thought most of them bitches are evil. I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I ain't gonna lie. If I walk into a motherfucking school like Harvard, uh, Yale, Stanford, Stanford, I know I'm around all evil, cunning bitches for the most part. Mm. There's probably a few stand-up women in there, but most of them bitches are there for the come up. That's why their parents send them to that school. You gonna be around the suckers. You're gonna marry a sucker so you ain't out here as a seamstress, bitch. <laughs> now get out there, get that pussy in that motherfucking air and marry the right motherfucker and fuck niggas on the side. Well, I, I will say, though, Stanford is one of them schools where you you can't even get in that motherfucker if you ain't about your intellect, if you're not about you know your scholastic uh, what? Yeah, you got to be on it. Get you can't the fuck you can't out of here, just Zoe. Get into That's what they tell you and yours. You can't just get in. Stanford, Stanford is full of dirt bag motherfuckers Dollars. who parents Dollars. got <laughs> juice. I believe some of that is some true. Of that, yeah. Some of it. But so you think most you. of the? Well, let me ask you a question, Zoe. That's not you no think easy. Most school of the to people at now. Stanford are the elites mentally. Yeah. So a lot you need of, to hang at Stanford for about two, three weeks. It's a, a whole bunch of, of dope fiend, pill popping bitches. I agree. <laughs> and, and, I agree, but Stanford is not a game. Get the fuck no. out of here. This I wish I game. would send my motherfucking child to Stanford and make them think that you among the smartest. Get the fuck out of here. Stanford you are, is you not amongst a game. the you amongst the people who got money. You amongst That's true. Them, you're, them motherfucking you're dirty right motherfuckers who yeah. You're amongst the people. Your, your your roommate in a few years might turn out to be a judge or your roommate, you know, that you went to school with might turn out to be a physicist. But it is not an easy school to just be there fucking around. No. All right. Well, let's not. move on. Wow. Fuck, fuck Stanford. All right. Go there ahead. you go. That's how we end that one. So uh, I would try to kiss my ass, <laughs> kiss ass to get in that fucking dope fiend ass uh, University of Peel Pop. This, <laughs> this particular story right here, I'm just trying, I don't even know what to say about this guy. Anyway, I'm calling this what were you thinking uh, moments. Uh, Zach Randolph, I don't know if you heard about what happened to him last Wednesday. To the uh, who was arrested last Wednesday during a confrontation between a crowd of people and some cops here in Watts. 
Zach is an NBA player that left the Memphis Grizzlies after eight seasons for the Sacramento Kings this past summer and received a two-year, $24 million contract. There were many reports called into police earlier that night about cars blocking off access to several streets in Watts and loud music playing loud in the Nickerson Garden housing complex area. I don't know if you guys have ever been down there, but... Mm. um. That's where he was hanging with some folks. When the police arrived, people took off. Several people went off running, and three were caught, one of them being Zach Randolph. Well, I'll put right? it to you like Anyway, this. I'm not done yet, but okay. <laughs> I would just couldn't. He kept showing you something. I didn't know if it was no, for all this. We're trying to stomach this. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think your stomach will have a problem. So here we go. Uh, so anyway, he was arrested. Zach Randolph was caught. He was one of the guys that ran off, and he was arrested for possession of marijuana and intent to sell. He now faces a felony charge. The Gosh. California initiative, though, that was passed because people go, oh, well, weed is, Ill- is legal in California. No, the California initiative that was passed only allows those with cards, one, which he didn't have, and you can only carry an ounce of marijuana. Now, you also have to have a valid license if you're going to sell. It's a felony. He had close to two pounds on him. Uh, his so so uh, when you have two pounds of weed, that means you're going to sell? They, they give much. you that automatically? Well, they'll, it'll, he has to go to court for that, but pretty much that's why they add that on his arrest with intent to sell. Because Was he really than, trying to sell that's it? That's the point or, I'm trying to make. They're yeah. going to put well, all that shit well, on you. Well, you never know. He had it on him. Anyway, he, he, the, his new coach from the, and the Kings uh, didn't have much to say. Their statement was, we are, yes, we are aware of the situation, and we have no further comment at this time. I'm going to say so. this about Zebo. That's him leaving the jail in Watts. Zebo is a street nigga. He did a great job in Memphis not getting in trouble. Because right. I ain't hear about Cause nothing. Because he Memphis earlier he did. is all hood. It ain't a good part in Memphis. He had a DUI <laughs> or something else like that. Yeah, but that's it. it Memphis hood is fucked. Mm. Uh, and he, I never heard about him getting in trouble. So now he back out here in Cali. And I will say this. I hope my brother Zebo can keep his nose clean and get his money because you smart enough to know. And I know you smart enough to know because you didn't get in trouble like that in Memphis. I was worried about him. I thought he was going to be one of them players who couldn't keep it together because, first of all, he's the toughest motherfucker in the NBA. Eight years. That was a long time he was there. He beat up the one boy um, and shit looked like a movie. (laughs) Yeah, I know what you're saying. I ain't going to say the other dude's name who he beat up. It came up. But he beat up this dude when he played for Portland, and it looked like some movie shit. <laughs> it looked like yeah. some shit. Like remember when Martin was on there? And he fought he, Tommy he, Hearns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how that motherfucker looked when oh, he got oh, through with it. Up. Wow. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, get your not money. as a coward, because I acknowledge the fact that you got hands, but I'm just saying, my brother. You know what it is. Don't relax. Do what you've been doing, man. Just don't relax. If you over there in that area, Oof. you going to get the charge, and you yeah. know it. Yeah. It's Out of everybody. Court. They're right. going to be like, him. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who is the him. big black one? We know who that is. Get him. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Pin all the shit Come on Come on, Zemo, him. you know. <laughs> so I say this, man. I don't want to see you go down. I don't know what the fuck you got going on in your life. See, yesterday I was in front of this comedy club, the improv, and I was talking to this dude because he was talking about something that somebody did to him mm. and woo, woo, woo. And I said, hey, man, don't you know everybody fucked up? Mm. Everybody fucked up, man. That ain't shit to be ready to, to right. fight over. Everybody's Let in a bad go, way. go, man. That yeah. motherfucker ain't. Everybody fucked up. Mm. So, Zebo, I don't know if you fucked up or whatever, but my nigga, please. We don't want to see you go down. Because I know you got that. You got it in you, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It ain't got to be said. Your reputation. Motherfuckers know who you are. Don't go Don't go down, G. No. Be, be, be that motherfucking nigga right. to motherfucking find a way. Because if them people gave you that much money, God damn it, to play for two years. I mean, because first off, money. first off, it's rare. You know, the NBA people trying to get to that second contract, that third contract. It's rare to be as good as he is, get as many contracts. If you look at how much money he's made in his career, 
it ain't an issue of money. Mm. Can't be an issue of money. I mean, I ain't counting it, but it can't be an issue of money. Right. Well, you but, never know. That's the thing. You don't know he married, ain't he? he I, I remember when he got cookie. married. It, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's still married, but I know he had got married. Mm. But the thing I'm is, I'm just saying it's you, like he you know don't, you don't it don't matter if somebody got 24 million. You don't know what they paper situation is, right? So, or you don't know what they're into because some people can have a lot. But of I do know two smoke. pounds ain't Still gonna fix that, that paper situation. No. Nigga, smoke weed, homie. That's Somebody, what I think. Yeah, exactly. I think if I he can, don't smoke weed, people he right, fuck with right, smoke right. weed. He got the cheese. It ain't nothing. Right. He man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. But hopefully, what happens is, he'll beat this sometimes we relax, we forget, mm. get a little too comfortable. Hey G, wake up. Yeah. Don't fuck yeah. with that. Yeah. Same thing a motherfucker tell Derrick Rose. She right. Hey, there. man, don't go over there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do go over there, you need to go over there with somebody. I know you, Zebo. Ain't nobody finna fuck with you. Right. But I'm saying, my nigga, we, this is a time in our life where we are mm-hmm. still tangible in the eyes of them wicked motherfuckers. Yeah. So while you still can don't get come money, over here. <laughs> you don't even, I, it's some niggas on the streets that tell you, nigga, you don't what even need to be over here. Yeah, right. Yeah, you don't even need to be and over streets, here for nothing. The streets got to look out for Zebo, just like the streets look out for little well, kids, that's what I'm saying. the little Zebos. That's what I'm saying. Who's like, he with? Like, he wasn't supposed to have him. But that's what I'm saying. It's, it, it, you say, when you say, who's he with, who D, you with? Right. I'm going like, to tell you. Who are the people that took you Your peoples there? is over there in the project. No, I know that, but you somebody what I'm was saying? supposed to say right. he was supposed to be standing out here right. when he's hanging out right there. Come on now. I'm just saying, like, the streets look out for the little kids that are on the come up. The streets recognize, oh, that little kid going to be a hooper or he going to be this, he going to be that. And typically, they get out of that kid's right. way. They go, oh, no, let's not fuck go with him. Or let's not fuck right. with him. All I'm saying is the streets got to look out for Zebo too. Well, and he got to look out for himself. He got to look out man. for himself because ain't too much motherfucker can do but tell you. Right. Don't go over there, money. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Ain't nobody finna grab you by the back of your shirt and put you in your car and say, get the fuck from over here. Because I done seen motherfuckers get done like that. (laughs) Right. Mm. I done seen little niggas with with potential and faith. I mean, uh, potential and money. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, man, get the fuck from over here, G. Right. Fuck from over here. Don't don't come over here no more. Don't come over here. Ain't nobody finna grab Zebo and tell him that. Yep. Well, hope he he beats it. I hope he get out of it. Well, he got enough money to get out of trouble. It's that's California. And it's Everything weed, so just costs money. Yeah, that's true. I don't give a fuck. You murder a motherfucker out here. Listen to me, 5150 Nation. In California, mm-hmm. if you murder a motherfucker and you got paper, you can beat it. You talking about? I ain't falling for the okie doke. You talking about Beretta? Talking All about? them motherfuckers. If you got paper, you can beat it. In California. You murder a motherfucker out here, you got paper, you can beat it. You can beat it. All right. Your paper straight, you straight. Coming, is wild. From the law offices of CEO. The law offices of. <laughs> Somebody say I'm dressed like a killer whale. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got the Y'all ain't even white. seen this motherfucker. This Wait, a long ass. He got a long man's mask. Porka. Mask. All right, listen. Porka. <laughs> Not Move orca, on to the next porca. one. So this is, this is some good news. I, I, this is some good news. Anyway, uh, congratulations to Jordan Peele. Get Out, the movie, and Jordan Peele have just made movie history. Peel is the first African-American writer and director to pass the over 100 million threshold for his debut feature film. You bullshit. Also, the film itself is now the fifth most profitable movie of the year considering how much, or how little in this case, it took to make. He looked gay than a motherfucker on a that four, On a 4.5 million budget. Just a joke. Right, I me. see. Now... Anyway, now other American African Americans have He's eventually working. had their Go films make over a hundred million, but none have done it with their own screenplays and within only sixteen days of its release. So, <laughs> congratulations, Jordan Peele. Congratulations! Somebody say I got on a movie was amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's a bit, for four point five million, it made over a hundred million. It's incredible. That's great. Yeah. For four point five million, it made over a hundred million. Yeah. Million. Yeah. So it's the it's the fifth highest grossing film considering how much it made. You know what I'm saying? Or how much it costs, yeah. Right, to make it. Man, so good job, to, man. Yeah. I hope he comes out with more movies. Yeah, he did. They just gave him a big deal. Lit. I forgot to list that, but. I mean, like, it looks like he paid his dues and was able to put out some shit that they didn't feel like was going to be shit, and it burnt, it blew up. Because let me tell you something, Caught man. Caught him slipping. I know the stories of Hollywood. It's so many black movie people. Mm-hmm. 
they never expect their shit to hit mm. because we're not going to give you what you need for it to hit. Mm -hmm. But the idea was the type of thing when people at the movie theater was like, I want to see what that's about. We you know, know what I'm put saying? it in all the theaters. You know right. how the blockbusters are in 3,500 screens. Right. Your movie is in seven. In that right. county, right. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Or your movie's in 100 screens or 1,000 screens, but they don't get those big blockbuster screens like that. That's right. It. But, hey, I'm happy for that, brother. I, I, that movie was amazing. Congratulations, Yeah, so bug. congratulations. And uh, moving on to the last was thing. Was his own boy in that movie? No. That was the first one I seen them with they Without him. together. Yeah, the but he's got Bert dude off Sesame Street. Homeboy's got his own uh, series on Netflix, though. It's a series that he's in. I don't think it's his, but he's. I was just going to say that don't look no, like he's it's an actor his. In it. No, it's not his. Right. I'm just saying, but he's starred on that one. So anyway, I don't know. Um, anyway, moving on. Last thing I wanted to talk about. Um, last this incident happened last year. Somebody said I'm, I'm looking like the Pepe Le Pew side of the game. That's hilarious, like a skunk. Uh -huh. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Mon anyway, so last like year, Tubman. this incident that happened with this uh, in South Carolina, Hampton, uh, a poli Hampton police officer, Quincy Smith, who was shot at point blank range. Um, the, the only reason they're talking about it now in the news is because the video was just released because the guy who was um, caught uh, just had his trial and he was sentenced to what was it? Thirty five years. Anyway, what happened was this officer, uh, that's the police officer, he, he brought his taser out, but anyway, he showed up. You can watch the whole video, but what happened was he had his own pair of uh, the glasses, the spy glasses that have the little camera, and it caught the entire incident. So the, the video was just released. You can watch it online. It is pretty heavy because, of course, he was shot like three times by that guy. As the guy's walking, you see him. Um, but anyway, I'm just saying that people, you see how much these things cost. What did he walk up on him and do? He kept saying, take your hand. Cause the people were saying he's taking stuff from us from a, at the store, these other people in this neighborhood. And so he was walking up to him. He was like, they're like the, the people in the neighborhood were like, there he is. So he's walking up to him. He's like, Hey man, take your hands out of your jacket. And he's on the phone. You see, you see the guy, um, the officer had his taser on. He's like, dude, I'm telling you, man, take your hands out of your pocket. And he just wouldn't listen. And homie just pulls a gun out straight. You just see the gun come right into the camera in his eyes. It is so scary. But he shot him with intent to kill because it was four shots. Did he die? No, he lived. You can watch the whole thing. He's gurgling. You can hear the Boy, that everything. motherfucker ain't finna never get out of Never jail. get out. Yeah. Whenever you shoot a motherfucker, especially a cop. Like that. And that motherfucker <laughs> yeah. is alive in court pointing at your ass. And all the people in the neighborhood saw it and everything. And then it was on his glasses. That's what they used in court. But I'm just saying. Even your asshole going to look like a Chipotle burrito. You know what? God dang it. But anyway, I'm just saying. People Extra should, sour cream. People should get themselves these glasses while they're driving around. What if you get pulled over and you're walking around? I mean, nowadays, they're only. They're, you can find a good pair for like, look, that's the lowest. It's a 23 bucks. $23? He, he said he bought his for $30. He said you it was the best $30 you. he ever spent in his life. They said great. D is dressed for her quinceanera. <laughs> oh, that's cute. My quinceanera dress was white because my family wanted to think I was pure. Oh. I did have a quinceanera. I did. Motherfuckers are stupid. That's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, it caught audio too. You can see it. Anyway, he gives his um, he gives messages to his family because he thought he was gonna die. It's so touching, though. Who he gives? Oh, he thought he was gonna die. Yes, he was. Do you have the to whole see thing. this? I can't tell what that is. Oh, God. <laughs> Mini so me, fine mini me. I know. While we're online, goofy while we're shit. Alive. Anyway, so I'm just saying, <laughs> I, he survived. He's still on medical leave. It's been a year now, and homie is just got sentenced. So they released the video. It's pretty deep, but um. Anyway, you you can have glasses <laughs> like that and wear them yourself as you you do driving yeah, and walking around. D, <laughs> look, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. uh, Oh, matter of fact, oh, no, I'll wait. I'll wait till later. Wait, what, what? Okay. I was going to yeah, ask you, no, no. can you read the next thing? <laughs> Excuse me? Stop acting like you all. Like, My like, vision is good. Oh, I swear. I was the first but one to see. you this without your glasses. I was the first I one know, to see Poet of Dandra, but she got the big font. And I got the big font, and I lowered the brightness. Her text looked like water bugs. It does not. Let me see. <laughs> That's the not. font big as hell. That shit is you. What? That's why you read without the glass. <laughs> the font is ginormous. I ain't never seen font that big. Really? What number is that on? Uh, it's all the way up. God okay, damn. I heard the Frankie Beverly. The I knew biggest, that was coming with this hat on. It's the biggest one. 
Silky, silky. <laughs> anyway, so there you go, sucker. Sucker, you. you're an old motherfucker. You said sucker. That's right. Said, so wish he had dandruff. That second fight in breaking two when they getting ready to battle, they say sucker about fifteen times. Come sucker. on, sucker, you sucker, jive, sucker. sucker. Jive. Then Ice T get the rapping. He be like, D, go over there. <laughs> I back. wasn't in there. I was, like, yeah, I was in elementary when he was doing that. Really? The first one? Come on. I said the second one. Y'all oh. was fucking by the end. No, we weren't. I met him after all those. I didn't after the, you, you wasn't with me. the break I wasn't with I him. I thought you break-in. was with him before breaking. Uh, I met him in '85. You a groupie? Oh God. I thought y'all shit was pure. You got hey. with him because he was um, that reckless. MC no, Ice T. He got with me. I was in there already with uh, with everybody. A, know he got with you. You was fine as shit. Fuck out of here. He with had you. action, right? T. Your ponytail was greased to the scalp in that Actually, motherfucker. He did not have a ponytail the night I met him. He had his whole perm down. He had the yeah, perm down with the like tango. Nope, like, he didn't what's have my a man tango. In San Jose? He had on the he had on the uh, Boston, He had on a hat, the Run DMC type hat. Yeah, with some shell toes. What's my man in San Jose? Pretty, pretty Tony. The pretty Tony. He had the pretty Tony. Yeah, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> See? Tracy Everybody talking about me. you on Unsung, D. Oh, don't hate him. Okay. It was awesome. I, I watched that shit. I was like, look at D. Oh, well. Darlene Ortiz. Oh, well. <laughs> One of the greatest album covers in hip hop history. All right, now. They that dude who be talking? Yeah, they gave it up. I, I ain't talk. I ain't talk. <laughs> But Darlene but, Ortiz. But see, all those people are my people, <laughs> it too, It was though. time, those time those for the funky ones. one. Time for that monkey to be out and displayed. That was cute. I didn't Ice see Ice T, when he first clips. spoke to it, hey, yo, what's up? What's up with that monkey? Yeah, his voice changed. It used to be, like, <laughs> higher when he was younger. It was higher? I think it was a little higher when he so was So that younger. ain't his real voice? Is that what you said, D? What do you mean? D. No, I'm saying as you get older, you know, stuff starts changing. Does it? Is that yeah. why your lab so robust? <laughs> I think it happened after I got pregnant. Billy Boy. Where's Billy Boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I weighed like 200 pounds when I was pregnant. 200? Yeah, I gained 75. How much you weigh now? 160. D, solid, my nigga. Now it's solid. <laughs> as a rock. Solid <laughs> as ham hocks. As ham hocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you get older, boy, everything is, gets a little bigger. That's what these thighs are. Right. I got a good disposition about that. <laughs> Unless you that, got that lucky know. ass metabolism like Zoe and shit. Hey. You built a God, even it out. That head ain't shit. You know what? <laughs> My head <laughs> is. Stop. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Fish. Scales. Fish. Scales. God, even it out. That head ain't shit. <laughs> God always no. even it out. No, shut Handsome yo. as I am, I got this. Oh. You got he this say, water got bed build. He got this, <laughs> he got this, he got this aquatic is. build. This is handsome as I can. What about does. D? What do he do to D? D got <laughs> strong ankles. Cankles. Cankles. Cook a cank. Cankles. Cankles. Cook a cank. Cankles. I am a skin with meat on it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you what, about, what about Frank over there? Uh oh, Frank said, oh. What God do to even out Frank? Is it the jaw? It's the jaw. It's the jaw. He got the boomerang chin. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Mixture of Count Chocula and Grover. (laughs) You guys are crazy, boy, I tell you. Count Grovula. (laughs) (laughs) He called his nigga Count Grovula. (laughs) What about Genevieve? What about Genevieve? (laughs) <laughs> she laughed. She giggling. Oh, she's just so shit. tiny. She's we so petite. Is it height? I knew you. I knew you were gonna sneak it no, in. No, it's not D. even height. It's just she's just a petite all the way around. She's just all tiny. All my friends are short though. She's very tiny. Maybe. Wait a minute. What'd you short. say, Genevieve? I think I'm like eighty something pounds. She's See? eighty something like pounds. Eighty pounds. pounds. Yeah. Frank, you a fucking pedophile. You That's what, what happened. <laughs> Frank was at the. He was at the junior high. He was at the middle school. Stop. In a right. motherfucking. They be Ice arguing and truck. shit. He be like, "Bring your fucking report card over here." <laughs> <laughs> Role play. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, we didn't know that. Frank he was, was a, a teacher. teacher. Frank used to be a teacher. That's where oh, he got it. All right, I, I want you guys to go to B, B flat. <laughs> if, if Frank, Frank is Quagmire. If, yeah, he got the Quagmire type job. <laughs> he got that Quagmire shit going on over there. I can't. 
Like, I remember when Chris was around, his breath, and that hairline was starting to go back early. Yeah, he had the fryer tuck, though. Yeah, he had the top. Yeah, the he top, the, the little donut, the right. little sunroof situation. This magic moment. <laughs> that motherfucker was gone, boy. That oh. <laughs> and that motherfucker. Oh. Oh. He had the yarmulke. That breath was powerful. Boy, well, I used to be working with Chris. I remember he got in the car one morning. You know, he's a nice guy. He said, good morning. I was like, oh, not no more, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. He had life ruining breath. Yeah. This motherfucker like was life. chewing gum. That gum was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, gum animation. What? That, that gum wasn't doing shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Run to the choppers. <laughs> that breath was powerful. Who else? Freeze. Freeze is an amalgamation of all the races. <laughs> so Freeze is an Arab, he's a Negro, he's light skinned, he's Mexican. Everybody I know thought he was yeah, Latino. Freeze is like, Jewish. Oh. Freeze is everything. <laughs> Free, that's Freeze's thing. Freeze used to be proud of his no hair. Yes. He would wear his thing where it wasn't shocking when you saw it. Like yours is always shocking. Like it would take me about two months to get used to it because like you know, sometimes you have that shadow when it's coming in. That shadow ain't shit, boy. You that. know who was shocked today? <laughs> uh -oh. All them people on the basketball court uh -oh, when you took go. your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> All the games stopped. He took his shirt off. Everybody went. Because fatness, tits, everything was out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, hat hooper. <laughs> Everybody know why you got a hat on. It was people yelling from the other side. Hey! Your hair fucked up. That's why you got that hat on. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, that didn't were. happen. Oh, it was a child who said it. Drinking oh. a bottle. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> hat fucked up, mommy. <laughs> like when the girls were Right. <laughs> 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 you ain't fooling nobody, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, damn it. <laughs> right. That was good, yeah. my nigga. Yeah. Mattress, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Genevieve, Wait, could you do me a favor? <laughs> can you pass me something? Can you pass me? Funny. Can you pass me all those papers right there? They're very important. I meant to have them with uh -oh. me. Um, it's something I'm quite proud of. Mm. God damn it. Oh shit. All right. What we doing, my nigga? What's going on here? I'm put my glasses back on. In about These ain't for close up, three so weeks, can. we begin Black Jesus. Right. Yay! I got homework. Yeah. I got homework. Yeah. Damn, I got to learn all this shit. When you, but when you, when Is you it on, hard to learn? When you on set, mm -hmm. you don't be bullshitting. Mm -hmm. The night before, you be in that motherfucker like. You better have done it already, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-uh. <laughs> Can't do it at the last minute. What do you minute? think helps you with your memory, how to memorize all of the scripts? Like, is there a procedure you do? Or Well, if you're a dumb motherfucker, you ain't going to be able to hold no show. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. of uh -huh. course, this season, without the good brother, Charlie Murphy. Uh, oh, yep. shit. That's yep. what without my good brother, Charlie do Murphy. Do replace him, like in that spot? No, it's what? just we more, really more no, shit falls on like me. That, but you know, what? Look at more so, Booney going to step up. Me? Uh, they got uh, the homegirl, Dominique. That's oh, my yeah. baby that's mama. Yeah. yeah, that's true. She got a lot more episodes this time. She whooped your ass in that. Yeah, she's, mm -hmm. she's, the, she's the thug of the motherfucking shit. But uh, it's a good thing when you know you're getting ready to film a series. No, that's God good. Damn it. That's good. Yeah, congratulations. Each, each one man. of these yeah. is a check. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, motherfucker. Uh -huh. Motherfucker. Right. <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. That's right. Rest in peace, my good brother. We're going to try to do it without you, but it'll never be the same because Charlie was on set, great actor. Mm -hmm. He ain't never have his motherfucking shit. He knew all that shit. Really? He knew every line. Damn. Most motherfuckers be like, all right, cut. Hold on, wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. <laughs> I say it. No, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Charlie was a, a, a professional. Much That's love good, to my man. brother, my good brother, Charlie Murphy. So glad I met him. He was a good dude. All right, so we finna take a little break, motherfuckers, and we shall return. Corey looked like Frankie Heavily and Maze. <laughs> That's a good one. Frankie Heavily. <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck? Oh, you motherfucker, man. Nigga, that's your name forever. Frankie, Frankie Heavily. Heavily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shark Attack. Oh, nigga, you can't ever escape the gravity of that new name. Well, is that Frankie a good one? Heavily. Somebody, these shirt is the 80 version of my mama's couch. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, it's cute. <sighs> Corey, a shaved Monique. Wow. Ooh. That's fucked up. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. We'll be back. 5150, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bush your ass. That's what's gonna happen. I don't care what you say. Your mama like this dick. What? Look at this boy no. right here with this zigzag on your ass, motherfucker. That's right, Corey Holcomb, 5150 shorts on the House Nation side of the game. Cop you a pair at CoreyHolcomb.com. Go to the store. Look out. <laughs> boy, I got cool out on that eat. Chipotle. What? Thank mm-hmm. you.
Foundation. up on 43rd with the chirp in his phone you could tell that the southeast was his home more mail than the rest of the pushes cause he had a clack 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 in the bushes <laughs>
We back. Yeah. All right, this shit getting out of hand. It's <laughs> <laughs> not. You enablers out there. Sweet. Whoever the fuck Gerald Brown is. Yeah, I'm eating these Funyuns you sent from, from North, North Carolina. Carolina. Thank you for our goodies. And the other <laughs> snacks. Look, he sent you what? My brother sent me some snacks like I'm a fucking dog. But he's eating. <laughs> Mattress man. Thank you, Gerald. You need your fuel. And so I got you- my glasses. I got my gla- He gave me a eyeglass case for my reading glasses. Thank you. And I actually needed one. And I am actually going to use these Easy Readers Lens Cleaning Spray. Thanks to Gerald. Oh, and so then cute. I'm excited. This motherfucker. Uh oh, look. Sent- sends me <laughs> some goddamn razors, razors. <laughs> to shave my head. <laughs> you gonna send some razors, goddamn it, Gerald? Send the ones with the little batteries in them and oh, the real ones. Look at you. How Gerald look? We got Hi, a picture. Gerald, of him? no, but he should have sent. Oh, Gerald, you got to hit us up and email us. You know what Gerald yeah, send us a like. picture, motherfucker, so we can see how you look. You see, fucking enabler. See, right. See, Holcomb, 5150 show. I was doing Gmail. good. And then look, you, you got him on hooked on the snacks. He sent us down candles no and shit. He gave us a Laker oh, and candles. candle. That's right. Why he, he gave you a candle? He gave you a Everybody candle, candle, too. He, he flirting with you, too. nigga. No, Your candle, purple and yellow. Your candle, red and black. These is for the Lakers. And he gave you for Chicago, and he gave one that, one, me one that smells like tea. Trying to make tea. it seem like I you see. didn't get no candle. I ain't getting no candle. He flirting with you, too. It's in the box. Where's Corey Candle? It's Red and black there. ain't flirting. Purple and yellow, that's flirting. He Colors of royalty. Lakers. Lakers. See? Lakers I'm ain't about royal. To use yeah, we spray. are. Look at here. He sent this nigga there it is. snacks. He the sent he Corey some Thank 35 you, cent Look, he gave him a vanilla cream Chicago cookies. <laughs> I might say my hat got fatter. You know, <laughs> God damn it. God. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Wait. Y'all oh, and, dirty rotten motherfucker. And then we got some baseball hats or some styled hats, but they, were, they, they all said Chicago on them from a man named Hustle. That's all he put in his phone number. So. Hustle? Hustle gave some hats that had some Chicago. Stuff. When y'all gonna boss up, nigga? <laughs> Stop. Leave him alone. Send some real shit, nigga. Hey, what if this is just in his budget? I like that. I'm grateful. Thank you, Gerald. Cleaning my glasses right now. This might be one of his survival That's kits. The best. <laughs> I'm throwing that motherfucking candle on the freeway. I'm going to kill a family tonight. <laughs> oh. Up. We might need that. What if the power goes out? See? Real talk. Yeah, the shit goes down. going here? Yeah. Motherfuckers are sending you snacks. I love <laughs> this it. This shit is so amazing. Great. And oh. you're eating it. You see? <laughs> Although this stuff has made my glands worse. Oh, Wait, what? Oh, so you see, that's a that that ain't even got no no I ingredients. That's, that's water. That's soap suds. <laughs> right. Yeah, this, nigga, so filming, right? this nigga put some dish water in a. He's making ass. fun of me now. I can't see. Right. Now I can't see. All this what? dollar store ass <laughs> shit. I can't see now. Look, they're all mess. Oh, Gerald, I'm still happy though. He went grocery shopping at an ice cream truck and just got all this shit off the ice cream Shut truck. Up. This nigga raided his grandmama house. <laughs> what you got in the pantry, big mama? <laughs> Give these to them 50 with 50 folks. <laughs> Give me some of granddaddy's hat, some of your candles. <laughs> no, the hats were some from somebody else. They were oh, from somebody named funny. Hustle. What story did I forget to t- talk about earlier today? Look at that. He's all mixing his... Forget you, B. He was all. <laughs> he jizzed in the glasses cleaner. Oh, I'm what? Stop. Somebody Who said he said jizzed that? in the glasses cleaner. Oh my god! Bust <laughs> off so she can clean her glasses. Look, I can't. Yeah, go worse. Oh, bless his heart. Uh, Throw that shit away. You know that look, shit ain't. Look, that, just look. That glasses case ain't gonna protect oh my god. shit. Do you have anything? On? You kind of look. I'm not. Uh, yeah. Hey, girl. It didn't work. Balls up next time. Oh, Send some real shit. He said he sent her some bubble bath. Balls up. Balls up. Motherfuckers are stupid. No, I'm serious. Look, I can't see out of them. Uh, <laughs> you can't see out of them motherfuckers <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll drop the funny. That's what you get. Eat it. Off the floor. How did it get caught? How did it get caught? <laughs> oh, got caught in the cr- drop crotch. In the drop crotch. Oh, snack saver. Catch your food, Nick. <laughs> Look at 
look at is this. Is that one of the functions of I the show? I should have took a picture of it. Do it again. No, go away, dude. Oh, it. damn it. You're no so fun. It's like He's no fun. A nut tablecloth. <laughs> You're like, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't understand. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fuck both of y'all. No. <laughs> and people thought this was a dress. It's not I a know dress. we ain't got it's this show started. It's a oh. little top. I got jeans oh, on. Okay. Well. Somebody said, you just wanted to stand up so they could see that monkey. No, I wanted to pull it up because you know what? Sometimes the jeans are like like really cinching in your belly. So you have to pull them over that area or else they're just going to, yeah. You wouldn't know nothing about that with your little stretch on. Wah, 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 wah. Anyway, you know what, man? When I'm bored, Here we go. I like to go on the internet oh, and look shit. at fail compilations. See, a lot of people, when they ain't got nothing to do, they don't know what to do. You know, they just you go on the fail. computer and you don't be knowing what to Google. Google fail compilations. That shit fail. be funny as hell. Just what trust me. Oh, I know what you mean. When people fuck up. Okay. You watch that shit? Shit, funny as hell. I just, I just Google I people these falling trucks, down. Huh? If I'm bored and I just want to laugh or better, the people falling down. Fail compilation. Fail compilation. It's better when you can hit a um, value. People get fucked up. People get fucked up on them fail compilations and shit. What else y'all got that motherfuckers could Google when they bored? Chat room goons. That's <laughs> Somebody what I like say, that. yeah, fail compilations is funny. I know. Oh, here they are. Yeah. Like when Zoe cut your hair, that's a fail. What? Why well, that? Now that was. Wah, 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 wah. It was a big. So you cut your hair. Cut your hair in front of everybody. That shit will be hilarious. What like, kind of setup is that? Cut, cut your, your hair, hair in front, front of everybody. So get your hair done in front of everybody. Okay. You know when you be at the barber shop, you be like, take a little bit off the side. Mm, 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 mm. Getting mad I'll do it. it. Why does he always say that D's getting mad? I'll do I it. Get that. Like, I'll that go turns to a barber on. shop and get it cut, <laughs> yes. and we could put it on camera. If you will Why allow don't we do cameras it? Yes, in do your it. house on <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I just want to see you have a big ass meal. I will eat a big ass meal. <laughs> Regardless, if it don't you have will to be allow Bobby to give you a wet kiss on the cheek. Okay, nigga, Bobby. No, <laughs> you know what the fuck. Nah, man, we're good. I wonder what'll happen if Bobby kisses you on the cheek. It, He'll be like, "Hold on, so let me, give it. Come here. <laughs> Let's get it over with. I'm gonna give you Murfreesboro, okay? No. Uh. Uh-uh. uh No. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. That's your friend. Guys kiss on the cheek sometimes. No, nah, nigga. I, 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 uh oh. Jose's calling. You and your guys? No, not really. Uh, not really? You guys partially kiss each other on the cheek, nigga? Only motherfuckers I know kiss motherfuckers on the cheek is when they be at the funeral. They kiss the dead motherfucker. <laughs> other than that, I really can't think of guys kissing each other on the cheek. In the... This nigga turned the corner, didn't he? <laughs> Kagan lip gloss. D on the phone playing it off like she's talking to an old boy who print the shirts. Ice T in town. She got an informant. <laughs> He's where? He's staying where? <laughs> Is Coco with him? All right. Let's get it. Go. Break. Do you think she would get back with him? I think she won't to. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Hell yeah. You think so? What if some cheating scenarios were brought up? Mm. Who been on the 5150 show you want to smash? Chris Cousin? Yeah, I would smash Chris's cousin. What's her name? Whitney? Whitney's Whitney. a pretty girl. Yeah. She's a pretty, she's a pretty girl. Whatever happened to old girl, Zoe? Why? Call her again. What girl? The one I be trying to smash. Okay. She ain't fucking with you, man. I know. Sorry, I was going to say. I know. I didn't want to miss that you. one. Sorry. Huh? You know what, what it was, right? What happened? What happened? What? It was that one episode. Corey be kissing boys. <laughs> 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 it was that one episode, Zoe, at Joe, at when we was at RMC. That's when that bitch hated me. That bitch hated me more than Porters hate me. And I'd be exposing Porters for her thievery. You just, you know, you just was. 
What how she, how she so mad at me when you kicked her off her show? <laughs> I didn't kick her off. She quit? It's, it's Zoe's show. Those people are just guests, right? Am I right? Right. Okay. That's what I figured. That's not what that bitch said. <laughs> Come on. What? I'm interested in her. She was I know she left L.A. and went back to that midnight train to Carolina. Leave it on the midnight train. They released train. that episode, so. Carolina. Woo woo. Is that what she is? She's back in Carolina, right? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know where she is. I mean, she got a lick out there. Why would she leave L.A.? It's just like Armorosa. D showed me that picture of that preacher in Florida. Yeah, that she married. How the fuck you going to keep they, your and congregation? And they use Trump's hotel. They use Trump's hotel. <laughs> now, that's a, that's a boss player motherfucker. If he can keep his congregation... What, Armorosa is his wife? No, they were all mad. There was a lot of people that protest, uh, that were mad from his church, his congregation, because that whole thing. And then, he, then because she's with Trump. And then they used Trump's hotel or whatever for the wedding, too. <laughs> That's player shit, though. <laughs> Fuck that. So she's with a, she's with a, a preacher now. A hustler. Yeah, they got married. Uh-huh, he's from Hustler. Florida. Word, I read the Bible long. Grit my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, 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 knew Jack. Yeah, you're right. It did. It did. Yeah, he was around there, wasn't you? Of course. That was my New favorite. Jack City. Oh, God. Did you? Did, did you? Did you? That wasn't, called, Christopher that Williams wasn't was called New Jack City. That was the New Jack Hustler. New Jack. That song was Mike New Jack Tyson Hustler. Was in the video. Yeah. That yeah. shit was fire. I'd rather be the New Jack Crew. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm a hustler. That's one of my H-U-S-T-L-E-R favorite. H-U-S-T-L-E-R yeah. Hustler. Boom, boom. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Ooh, that one's good. That one is Squeeze the Trigger. I think Squeeze the Trigger is my all-time favorite, which re- really resonates right now today because, of course, it was way ahead of its time. So it was always talking about injustices. What was the second the song on the New Jack City soundtrack? The second? Oh, my God. I don't, don't know. work me. I'm oh. grieving. Oh, shit. <laughs> What was the third song, D? Uh, the OJs. The OJs. The OJs. Was Your the OJs? homeboy. Color me bad. New Jack City. Oh, God. New oh, God. City. I think it was talking about Color What's Me Bad. What's the greatest soundtrack? Is it Above the Rim? People sleep on Above the Rim. Above the Rim. What about was gang fun. related? Why nobody ever get that gang credit? Gang related was sick. I'm living life inside my jail cell. I might as well be living life inside a dirty hell. I can't dip. We talk about old soundtracks. Juice. That know juice, the ledge. That juice soundtrack was stupid. Ooh, know the ledge. Oh, Ooh, deep cover. That's one of my favorites. So I said okay. deep cover above the rim. Deep cover back when Snoop and Dre was on top of the game. Yeah. Uh. Murder was a case. That Murder was, was a the case was dope. Yeah. That was when Danny Boy had that cut on there. Oh, yeah. Friday? Mm. Boomerang? Oh, oh yeah. boomerang. Oh, the Ooh, we got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Menace to society? Mm-hmm. A nigga got to fart. <laughs> a nigga. A nigga. Somebody get him a beat, Frank. Please. No, that's when old boy uh, had that song on there. High five. It's about trust, not a deep, not the way, supposed to be unconditional love. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know they go, when I die, they going to talk so much shit. Be like, no, nah, they going to give you love. Hell no, nah, they going to be like, he dead. Nah! <laughs> Let's talk about all his Somebody dirt. said the Superfly soundtrack. Chef. Too old to remember. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> eight Mile was dope. Jason yeah, Lyric. Eight Mile was, yeah. Jason Lyric, you win. Oh, know. about it, about it. House Party 2. House Party 2. Why are you getting funky on, on me? me? Yeah. yeah, it had a lot of house stuff in there. You're right, huh? Didn't it? Why are you getting funky on mm-hmm. me? Somebody said the bodyguard. <laughs> what? It Don't was. Make the me bodyguard fuck. was great. All these whores. The Lion King. People sleep on that, dog. Please. Had a whole bunch of cuts. Name Manaya, one record. Manaya, 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 Manaya. 
Here you go. From the day we arrived on this planet. <laughs> That's why this nigga See? crazy to the motherfucker <laughs> the right circle now. Circle of lies. <laughs> this nigga's wild. <laughs> no, y'all sleep on Aladdin soundtrack. Oh, that guy that just got the new part. Aladdin? It's a brother, yeah, in New York. That thing's been going on forever. And it's a brother. He got the part. Another one. It's another dude for that play. Oh, they making a play called Aladdin? It's been on, but now he's trans. He's quitting. Robin Williams was funny as hell in Aladdin. Aladdin. And it, yeah, even Aladdin though it was, was a cartoon. He was funny. Yeah. That motherfucker was But killing. you got to know how to sing. That's why I was like, you'd be good in Broadway, Corey. <laughs> no, he yeah, would. He no would've. lie. Hey, do uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga yelling out shout outs, <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? Like, if do Broadway, what? if you was uh, if you was on Broadway, sing like a George Benson song. What he like, sing? Like uh, on Broadway or oh, that's my one favorite. Of those records. Yes, I fucked the bitch and dropped her off oh, on bro. Broadway. Do, 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 do. There was no Uber way back then. Do some Al Jarreau, Al Jarreau, uh, so. She to be doey doey. No matter what me. Darling, you be singing sometimes. <laughs> I do a little something, something. You Turn to, your yeah. stove around. Oh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and Roots the musical. Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. I ain't never seen that movie. No. I did. Purple. I saw it by myself. Nobody wanted to go see it with me. Who the fuck would want to go see that? What? I'm talking about even my friends. Even my girlfriends didn't go. So I went by myself. B, you're a weirdo. Oh, really? Coming from this one. You're king weirdo. What I do this weird? Everything. <laughs> was How the you? five heartbeat soundtrack good? Hell yeah. yeah. That was good. Cool. Oh! <laughs> It takes more than love to build it up. To be. It up. (laughs) What about the whiz? Don't nobody bring me no bad (laughs) dude. No, no bad dude. No bad dude. No bad dude. No bad dude. Don't know. Freeze was shaped like them crows that they was walking. When they were switching. Oh, I mean, it. if you don't want to stick with R and B stuff, I mean, Saturday Night Fever, <laughs> no. Car Wash, Saturday Night Fever was a good one though. It has. Some <laughs> <good ones. laughs> you old to think of that? I love. Are you kidding me? Sorry what about Ghostbusters? Old stuff. Bobby Brown. On that soundtrack. What was that blues, song? The Blues Brothers. I love that. Well, I, I guess it. we're yeah. going to have to. Yeah, that was a cut. It was fire. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, did somebody say uh, Ghostbusters up there? Yep, I think they did. Yeah. Purple Rain was the best soundtrack. Yeah, well, you can't argue. Yeah, it's hard man. to argue that. Yeah, man. Yeah? It's hard to argue that. I listened to Purple Rain the other day and shit. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of gay, but I be liking when he be doing that uh, dance and shit. The little scoop, scoop, the little scoop, scoop. The, scoop. the I would die for you. No, the I would die for you song. Right, I like when he goes. But then he does a little straight shoot too, though. He starts walking. There's like a little straight shoot. That's when it do. When he be rubbing his ass. I talked about that. Front and back, front and back. I'm so short. I wear these boots. That's a great soundtrack. What? Beach Street. Beach Street. Yes. That's a yep. great soundtrack. Flies in the faces, the living like mice, and the houses even make the ghetto look, look nice. nice, huh? Water tastes funny, it's forever too sunny, and they work all month and, and don't, don't make, make no, no money. money. I know Beach Street. That shit was. And if you listen What's to the, the cut? Lyrics? One of the sleeper cuts. I always Damn. Google this. All you youngsters, I want you to Google this song. You're going to like it from the Beach Street soundtrack. Okay. It's called This Could Be the Night. Oh, yeah. This could be the night. They're going to show the little breaking scenes and shit. <laughs> and that song, they, was, they had the battle in the Roxy. That was a cut. Yeah. It was yeah. building up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to go dancing this Friday. Man. Where you going? Oh, my boy, DJ Bonds. DJing, let me see. It's Crush Groove. I'm going to go to that. Wild Style. 
Ooh, Both of them. Yeah. Fresh Groove? Who just said Box. that? Oh, That's you talking true. about when your boy Mo D was in that motherfucking thing? Oh, yeah. Mo, yo, right. Mo killed that jingo. After all, he's just a doll. Ain't too much he can do. Yeah. You ask me, boy, to show about you. Yeah. It's Skinny's Lounge at Lancashire. It's out here. You sending a shout out to Skinny? Skinny better send my check. No, this is a lounge. Lounge. Don't That's where old people go. go. Skinny's Me. Lounge. Well, that's what, talk about if you want to hear some good hardcore yeah. hip hop, you got to go to certain things like what that. What was the best song on Crush Groove? Fuck. Crush Groove. The yeah, record. The, the actual Crush song. Groove. Yeah. It, it, no, the Fat Boys dun, dun, was the best dun, thing on Crush Groove. Which no. one was theirs? Don't you dog oh, yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Darf, 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 but darf, that Crush darf, Groove record, I got that Crush darf, Groove record darf, now. Darf, the whole collective, it. that shit was fire. Mm. I just didn't like uh, Sheila What about E's the part. first Batman movie soundtrack with Prince on Oh, there. Prince's? Mm-hmm. The Bat Dance. Yeah, yeah. yeah that uh-huh. shit was sick. That, was Warner that shit was sick. Yeah. It was weird. It was strange, but it was, it was, strange, weird, but it was but dope. He still hooked it up. Yeah, he, he fitted into the movie real dope. With all the sounds, mm-hmm. yeah, the sound effects. I got to get Crush Groove. Somebody say fame. Remember my name, fame. Can't front on fame either. Now I'm going to live, live forever. Somebody said, I'm going to get you sucker, KRS-One. Mm-hmm. Man, I was listening to that new P.E. soundtrack. KRS-One did a cold-ass verse on that shit. KRS-One on the lyric still. side. Yeah, he's yeah. still a problem. He yeah. raw. He's, he's still my top two. He said, two. some blinging and half snickers, bitches who can't even sing. I like that shit. Mm, <laughs> Talk about these new motherfuckers. Way to go, KIS1 on the flat nose side of the game. He definitely in my top two. KIS1 top two? MC? MCs of all time for me. Wow, that's big. Him and Rakim. Yeah, I love Rakim. Rakim was overrated, though. What? Okay, what? and we're done. Oh, my they God. Only had, they, look, that was back when they only had like three, four rap albums you that don't come don't out a year. About, no, like, no, 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 You don't sorry. even talk about the stuff that what they is what is a What is a Rakim song? Paid in full. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they got the Move the crowd. Too. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying the guy wasn't good. I don't Follow the leader. You've heard enough. Microphone fiend. You want me to tell you something? Everybody heard who's their age because you bought their record back when it came out. You get what I'm saying? No, no the ledge. You probably didn't listen oh, to that all juice that. Album. That's the best. No, no the, the ledge. ledge. On that you juice album. It. On you the juice. It. Yeah. Full rock That's was cut. out of control, mm-hmm. man. But that wasn't the best song on that motherfucking album. No time to do your hair, baby. Brothers is busting at me. Come on, man. Ooh. No, that wasn't the best song on Come that on. album. Let the rhythm hit them. I bet you if I say this other song, you're going to say it was better than that. What? what? Naughty by Nature. We got a break. We got a smack. No, that wasn't we better than Know the Ledge. What? You nah, crazy sorry. That, that was a cool record. But it was wasn't better than Know the Ledge. Know the ledge. Know sorry. The sorry. Know the Ledge was better? Yes. Ooh, come yes. on. Come on, man. Stop I don't it. know we're about that. Stop. We're going to have to play him. Yeah. Somebody say, I ain't no joke. Big it. I ain't no joke. Ooh. Eric B for president. Stop it. He got records, man. Nah, I, I I I I will say that Somebody Rakim said, was good. Eric Rakim is overrated. What you say, nigga? <laughs> what? I mean, he, what? Did, he, did, he only had a couple of albums. But that's not the case. It nigga was about excellent. A couple of albums, right? Excellent. So fucking. Yeah, so yeah. you got Rakim as your greatest. Oh my! I God. said it was in my top two. Karis one and Rakim mm-hmm. top two. Wow, you a, how you a New York MC type I'm just motherfucker? Asking, I'm just asking you who's better? So you said all who's these. Better than you, them but you gotta like who better than them too? From? I just want to hear what you think. You gotta like people because of where they're from. No, you ain't gotta like people where they're from. I'm fucking with Zoe. Oh. But I'm saying who better than them? I'm too? just saying. I want. I'm, it's, it's, there's argument for others. Do yeah, I have to right. say more than Tupac? Just. I mean, like the man had more albums than th- this motherfucker had. You this Tupac? motherfucker has lyrics and songs out. This motherfucker Over was getting Rock shit him? done. Over Rock him all day. And wow. his career was cut short. Look, somebody put Tupac? Yeah. Question marks. Yeah. Tupac. Let me just say, Tupac is a mega star. And he came out with that double CD, one nothing fucking with it. And the East Coast, I was riding in the car with my friends on the East Coast. They was listening to it undercover. They were scared to play it loud. Tupac is, 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 is iconic. You can't. But I'm talking about. Somebody say Jay-Z. Jay-Z, Jay-Z kind of hacky, dog. I'm just keeping it real with you. If you listen to what he does, you'll be like, this motherfucker bit that. They say he, rock him birth Nas, birth Nas's style. And then if you, I'd and, have to and say that. You, well, true. wait, and then if you ask actual MCs, if you they actually ask them, they defer to rock him. That's, that's right. the God, period. Because so. they came up around that age when rock him was like the man. 
But I'm just saying, I realized Rakim had what? Two two CDs? I can't give you the greatest with two CDs, though. Rakim had more than two CDs. He did? Oh, yeah? And you can't go by what kind of. You got to look them up, don't you? No, but you can't go by what they put out, how much. Sometimes you just don't go out because I just want you to. I was getting that crush group. I just want you to. Brenda had a baby. First All off, eyes on me. First off, listen. it's style. Can we be honest about, like, yeah. about Pac? Pac was impactful. He he has. I love the way Melly Mel described Pac. He said Pac was on some grown man shit. Right. So what the fuck else that is that to real. say? And and that's what I loved about Pac. I'm just but, a young black male. Cursed since my birth, had to turn to crack sales. If worse come to worse, headed for the but, back jails. Or maybe it's a hearse, my only way to stack mail. It's out here doing dirt, and my decisions do or die. I've been hustling since junior high. No time. Boy, get the fuck out of here. Oh, bless That rock him yeah. shit. Oh, you're about to, oh, you're bless, the, oh, bless, his oh bless his heart. Oh, bless his heart. Keep D going. like Tevin Campbell. Of course I do. And his family. <laughs> so Tevin do we need to say anything Tevin else? Tevin Campbell was You don't like bad. Tevin Campbell? That you ain't got no Tevin Campbell music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, didn't like, you didn't like his music. You didn't think. You don't got no Tevin Campbell music. Out. Let me, let me, let me rephrase this. Are you this. going to your? Because I ain't gonna hate. Yeah, but you just. I listen to the you got Tevin Campbell music, y'all. When I, when I drove to Frisco this week, I listened to the Back on the Block. <laughs> that album okay. was dope as fuck. That's right. Now see, that that's sure some cold was. shit. A lot of niggas don't know about that album. Back on the block. That's Come some cold on. shit. Oh my god! But D will pay to go to see Tevin Campbell. No, I won't pay family. to go what see him. him. That's family. What are you talking about? Okay, so Rock Him has bring him to the show, D. Paid in full. If I can get a hold of him, I could. Paid in yeah, full. Yeah, it's your family then. Paid in full. Eighty-seven. You had to look him up, huh? I just, I just needed to be clear. Follow the leader. Eighty-eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's on the Juice soundtrack, 91. <laughs> the 18th letter, 97. Look, I'm not taking that away from Rakim. I just feel like the this master, is all 99. optional, right? He got albums. No, I know, but that's this why you be taking it so to heart. You just said it's all optional. But then I you think be Chuck D head. never gets mentioned in his motherfucking music. Chuck, was all all the time. Chuck D's one of the Mention greatest the time, voices right. in hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't nobody ever say him? Hands they down. always say that trendy Rock him shit. I, I sound like rock I him ain't no trendy. Rock him, but He's I'm not. that good. You better go back and yeah. listen to them out. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, feel yeah. like when he came out, he had quality shit at a time where they wasn't really playing a lot of our shit. But now he that came they out play during up, the golden age, that's what I'm saying. You had Big Daddy Kane, Rock him, KRS One, Public Enemy, mm-hmm. all these guys. Hold on, you act like Slick Rick. You act oh. like you act like there was a whole bunch of rap albums came out the year Rock him albums came out. Well, look. If they his first album is 87, mm-hmm. let's look at in Back the when they didn't of, want rap to take over like it had. But it was it was too late. It, it was, I was it. too late. Look, you had me, LL during let that Let me time. rescind what I said. Rock uh-huh. him is great. Just not my greatest. How about well, there that? You go. There, there, there the we go. Talking. That's what I meant to well, say. All right. I mean, Tupac. Uh, Do you have great MCs besides Ice-T? What do you mean? That's one of your greatest, right? This I'm a fan of his, tea. yes. <laughs> no, I am. I'm a fan of his. So he's not one of the greatest to you? Uh, Lyrically, I see he used to be. No, no, no. Beat. I'm a good fan of his. I don't have ones where I go, oh, he's number it, one, he's number I just have a bunch of favorites. Where does Ice-T land on your list? He probably don't know a lot of his deep stuff. That's why I said when I, I, was said, about to say, when I you, said squeeze the trigger, he wouldn't have them. No, right you can't have ridiculous. Tupac without Ice-T, really. What? Ice T is the forerunner of that gangster shit, that realism on on wax. See, Ice T is the forerunner. Just, it wasn't streets. It was he one of the forerunners of that yeah. shit, especially here in L.A. Okay. Talking about the cop, talking about injustices, all that stuff. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Okay, I didn't listen to Ice T. That's what I'm saying. He don't know enough. <laughs> no, listen to me. I didn't listen to a lot of the deep shit because it didn't sound good to me. No, but I bought that album it, where he had, with the, he had him and them other two dudes on the front. And it wasn't commercial. It was, None of his stuff. He didn't care if it got played on the radio. That was what? his thing. Well, what's interesting about uh, Six in the Morning, Ice T. Ice T patterned that song and the cadence and the flow off of Schooly D. That's right. That was his favorite. And right. then the NWA followed. With the same case, still got it. Hey, still got it. But you see, I didn't argue about that. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll go with that. But, um, 
Now, KRS One, I can't. You see, I ain't saying shit. Can't really argue that KRS One. That blueprint that was the shit. Mm. The blueprint. The blueprint was different. Why dude. is that? That nigga. Yeah, his voice. Yeah. yeah. I think the way he looked threw me off. Oh God! Because why does so what he shallow. look like matter? I know because, because he's because a side That's how he goes Why here. is that? Is it because my nose is flat? I can't believe this guy. I'm right joking. Now. These are jokes. Nobody ever mentions DMX, and he was one of the best. I love DMX. I'm I talking about one DMX. of the best. DMX is yeah. is one of the most unique. One of the most That's original. who the record company was promoting when him and Jay Z was like this. Yeah, they mm-hmm. was like DMX. Mm-hmm. DMX. Jay Z eventually broke through on yeah. consistency. Yeah. DMX was big time. Oh yeah, big he's... time. And he's still real. I went to see him perform last year, and he was still on that. You know, they were talking about, it and I was like, "Oh God, is he? How is he going to do it?" And he still he he had his little moments in between the songs. He'd stop. He was uh, yo, check it out. Give me a blow. You no, but he must still perform learn. good. KRS. Wow. You must learn. That's why my I philosophy. Yes, mm-hmm. I think very deeply. <laughs> that motherfucker had slappers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't taking nothing away from that. Scarface. Why don't nobody Scarface. ever mention Scarface? Christ. Personal preference, like you said. Maybe no mention them. People mention I'm it. saying like these motherfucking Scarface on the lyric side of the game. Scarface, one mm-hmm. of the greatest storytellers in hip-hop history. Mm-hmm. Him, Slick Rick, Nas. Those are my storytellers. Him, mm-hmm. Slick Rick, Nas. Is anybody up on Devin? Am I the only one who know about Devin the Dude? Devin yeah. the Dude? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, that's, that's the West Coast. Devin the Dude is from Texas. Sound West Coast to me. Oh, he Does from he Texas. West Coast, huh? Devin the dude is dope. Funny as shit. Yeah. Mm-mm, I don't know. He on that he on that song uh, on that song on Dre album. I just wanna fuck. Yeah. Like Devin the dude. No kissing him. and hugging girl. You got a husband. The who DOC loves. is from Texas too. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yes. You mm-hmm. bullshit. You know okay. What? We saw it <laughs> WA. What about Black Thought? Where you got Ooh. him? You bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who Black Thought is? I know a black thought. <laughs> That was a good one. Damn it. Black Thought God from damn. the Roots is one of the most see. slept on dopest MCs in the game. That is true. Man, Period. Don't, don't try to freestyle either against What about Lauryn Hill? Lauryn Hill will Fire. slay. What about 90%. that album? Remember we talked about that album? Oh, the niggas true. in the What about that right album? Now. Where you put that album? Is that album in top 10? That top album's five? Top 10. Yeah, yeah. That Especially album's top when you 10. can play an album like that without skipping songs. Yeah. You can't yeah. you can't argue that album. That album is is genre bending. It's mm-hmm. singing, it's R and B, it's rap, it's all that shit. That, that shit is another level. Mm-hmm. Right. Can't argue that shit. That's top ten hip hop. So what do you put time. like these new guys? Like Drake. Drake is uh to me uh this era's LL Cool J. Cause he sing to the girls, he'll battle you. You know, he mm-hmm. it, uh, m- mainly all of his music is catered to the women and love songs. And not to say that all of L's records was that, but L was the first L that first album that I need a beat album. What was the what was the song? I seen I this girl love. walking down the street and I said, wait, no, I need love is bad album. That's oh, 80. Sure. That's 86, 87. But that first album, 85, I think that I need a beat. He, nigga, he was the first with the love records. Mm-hmm. So to me, Drake is the modern version of LL Cool J to me. Now, of course, I mean, they're I, different, I, I, but I can they kind of like fit. J. In this. Cole and so, like, I can't. J. Cole is dope. Can, yeah. That nigga's super dope. Uh, Kendrick is super dope. Mm-hmm. You know, Kendrick is, to me, is like a thug. What about D'Amigo? Again, niggas, I can't. Niggas who was naked on BET Awards for the fight. Uh, <laughs> they was what? That one nigga had the nipple shirt out. He did. He had it all the way down too. He's <laughs> nigga, like, yeah. that shit was so God funny, nigga. I don't know who radio he hang is with. the album. Thank you, thank you. Radio. I, know. I can't LL's live without radio. my radio. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that album. He had the first love song on that motherfucker. But LL had some good albums. I'm man. sure there was love raps and all kind of other shit. The I'm battle with Modi was 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 real good. Mo yeah, got so. him. I didn't know that Mo got him until I got older. Right, because he was the popular dude. When I was young, I didn't give Mo, a fuck. Mo was the old guy who had no business fucking with this young nigga that's killing the game. Cool Mo D was the nigga with the um, Queen Latifah hats. Here we go. Back then, Mo, don't be mad at me. You know I be fucking with you. Yeah. That's why he won't fuck. That's why he won't come on here. That's fucked up, Mo. <laughs> Get your thin, your skin thick. We love you, Mo D. 
<laughs> Nobody wants to come. Everybody's like, oh, God. Nah, but when I got really older and I movie. listened to Moe's Let's Go record. See, when I was younger, I heard the, uh, what was that, Jack the Ripper? A puppet on a string with no heart. A fool and his money will always man. part. He used to be a rapper turned into a businessman. See, See I know all this shit. If you want to go that category, I would rather get uh, Moe killed. Daddy. I'd go Kane. Now, Big Daddy Kane Ooh. is a problem. I don't think nobody really wants to see, see that, that nigga. You don't want to get. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> He's listen. Mm. There's bulls in the game, man. Yeah, Big Daddy Kane's a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Karis is a bull. Rakim's a bull. Like if the niggas battled each God, other, nobody's Jesus. gonna live. If niggas are gonna be Kane wounded. Is, is he, Kane yeah, he's, is he's, he's vicious. That motherfucker there. Mm. That's how you get yeah, Jay Z. See, see, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people you get Jay Z from Kane on him because they pick the popular stuff that they've seen. See, Kane's got some other stuff. That's so Kane got food. lyrics. He he funny. He got jokes. <laughs> right. He got depth. Why don't nobody ever say nothing about Biz Marquis? You. That That's your mentor. Rick, that man in black shit was Rick, so funny, nigga. God. I was laughing Slick like a Rick motherfucker. Is dope too. Uh, Will anyway. Smith was like, Pew. he was trying to be cute with it. Then Biz was like, <laughs> 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 hey, another slept on is is Koji Rap. Koji oh, Rap, yeah. you bullshit. No, no he's right. right. Koji Rap, my nigga. Mm-hmm. All right, fuck it. We Super did our best. Daddy. Yuck Mouth was good, too. <laughs> Yuck Mouth had some good-ass CDs, though. Razz Cat, see? Razz wanted to come on here. Razz is my on. nigga, man. Razz Cat! And then he was, yeah. What happened? Why you didn't bring him? I don't remember. You were like, uh, I don't know what was going on. Get the fuck out of here. God. Oh, here we, we go. Gonna try to, I bet you be telling people I, I said to, no. Do I need to pull up my, the old Pull the motherfucker up! Raz is the homie, man. I, I tried to sign him when I was an A&R at Loud Records. Mm-hmm. I, I gave him a record deal. He took my deal and took it to priority. <laughs> it was your hair. You know what? I had Stop hair. It was a dude with the hair. Uh, I had hair. You had hair, sucker. You had hair. That's right. You had a high top face. I did. Yes. Exactly. He had the kid in place. I actually joint. had a Gumby. Ooh, oh, laid oh, to the oh. side. <laughs> you had a sponge. You know if you don't shut your thick ass <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, we need to oh, see more pictures of him. This nigga was. just came at me. 51, 50 <laughs> no, he didn't. He said, shut your thick ass up. I didn't say oh, it like that. Why would you? This added. Yeah. That's what you said. This nigga know how to move like that. <laughs> we going to have to follow you, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Those told me to shut my thick ass up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Put this down. Nice, and he didn't 50 want to 50 history. Uh, he what's was today's to date? Nice. August 11th. Corey, you had nine gay moments in this show. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? My jacket, you have about nigga. nine gay moments. Look at my jacket. Every, right. <laughs> but I, I don't give a fuck. This nigga got on a gown. <laughs> but he's straight. But he'll, right. call, he'll call out somebody else. Oh, you know he gay, right? Right. Dude, you Jeez. know your ass the motherfucker got down before. Never. Talking all this Never. Shit. That ain't my get down. No. Fucking come on. Ugh. No, not me. <laughs> he sound like Quagmire. No, I'm just fucking with you. Get your, get, 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 your get, snacks get, get, get. and shut your ass up. <laughs> eat your snacks. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we finna wrap this pussy ass episode up. Anyway, God. Hey, Somebody say the hat is, all... what is they? Uh-huh. Corey wearing a smock. They think Fuck this yeah. nigga always need so you lunch. you gotta watch out. I hate he to go there, but them protests, you gotta like, now you don't even know what the hell is going to happen. I mean, did you see how Why are you looking in your water? What's in there? Goldfish? No, there's stuff cricket. around. I think it's from the ice because I put ice in there when it melted. I think it's got ooh, some marking in it. Corey got on a nurse's outfit. <laughs> 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 Nurse ratchet. <laughs> okay. Corey had on Velcro. Fuck you. My head is sexy, motherfucker. This is my Frankie Beverly hollered old bitches at a concert. Outfit. So the Ontario show is coming up. I'm getting a lot of messages from people. When is that? That's the 15th, September 15th. September 15th. God damn, I'm going to be exhausted. We're going to be filming by then. Oof, and that's yeah, that that's weekend. Gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be sleepy as fuck, but it's all good. <laughs> Get that check. Anyway, I want to say to everybody who sat up and watched the show live that you are a very important part of our lives here at the 5150. We have the new 5150 drop crop shorts and we drop drop crotch. Yes. Shorts or fat nigga leggings. Uh-oh. 
We expect you to purchase a pair and stand out at your next event where you can wear shorts. Also, D is, um, D is, what are you doing, D? What do you mean? I just wanted to put you on the spot. Hey. I thought you meant right now. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm gonna- so what's your show tomorrow? Uh, I haven't even developed the topic for tomorrow yet, but I'll have it together. Zoe's Voice of Reason Voice on Dash Reason. Radio, 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm. We broadcast live now through YouTube. We didn't figure out how to do that. Oh, that's so dope. All through YouTube. It's live. It's dope. It's, it's pretty fresh. Hey, I want to let everybody out there in Nyack, New York area, West Nyack area, all What's those people. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be performing there this weekend at the Nyack uh, Levity Live in that big ass mall. What the fuck? It's right next to the Target. <laughs> they got a bigger. Let me tell you something around this country. They got some some malls that are like, especially in them cold parts of the nation. Mm-hmm. That's where you hang at the mall. They got malls so with roller shit coasters and yeah, shit yeah, in there yeah. with it. So I'll be at that big ass mall Nyack this week. Um, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. I forgot the dates. I don't know what's today's date. D, you gotta look on today's your the fifteenth. 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 So I will be there. I think that's the seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, mm-hmm. August. Nyack. There it is. Y'all in the area? Come see your boy. We are forever grateful for your patience with us. We're going to have our new cast member. Chico don't live here in L.A., so we can't have him on the show every week. But I saw you saw how strong he is. I That's know, why he, he stands he, out on Wild and Out. Yeah, Chico Bean, love you, boy. Uh, we're looking for a new comic comedy relief here on the Fifty One Fifty Show. And, gotta uh, be funny though. Gotta be gotta be a natural. Gotta, gotta be, be a natural. Funny. Um, no need to apply uh, if you're not, because I'll know. And you'll think I'm acting funny, which, like, motherfuckers be out there, hey, Corey, let me come on the show, man. I'll be like, is that your funny Hell no. <laughs> I'm talking about motherfuckers ain't shit. And after that airy shit, I never just let anybody on the mm, show. You yeah, got to ugh. be fucking, that's yeah. fucking crazy. So, I'll find you. Don't think Don't you, look for us. Don't talk me into it, because I, <laughs> I ain't that motherfucker. Anyway. I want to say to all of the guys who live with their mama house, just go in the room without knocking and see what that monkey looked like you came out of. I'm Corey Holcomb. Huh? What? 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 I don't know. You ain't, why are everybody scared to look at the monkey they came out of? Why would you want to, Corey? Because you want to see where you come from. You're not flirting with your mama when you look at her pussy. Oh, That's uh, not flirting. Yeah. Look at your mama womb while she's sitting up watching Game of Thrones with that Klondike bar in her hand. I'm Corey Oakham, and this is the 5150 Show. We out of here. I can't with him at all. He's so wrong. Oh, my God.